guys so today is I have a prophetic message okay and well I do not want to be here <laughs> I will not want to be the person that the Lord is talking about today you guys um the way I'm discerning the way he feel right now he is he is pissed off okay <laughs> so this is the warning for someone um I feel it in my spirit okay the a very unsettling feeling that the Lord have given me. I woke up this morning happy and then the Lord showing me revelation slowly through the morning. And right now I'm feeling the full impact of this prophetic message. So this message, you guys, um, it's for that hypocrites, right? Um, the Lord said, be careful what you say okay then i was walking around the house thinking meditating praying lord what do you mean be careful what you say now his tone did not it felt it felt disturbing <laughs> okay be careful what you say so and um he showed me matthew 16 okay the lord giving me matthew 16 and so um this is new to me as well, so excuse me. Um, I'm sure you, um, most of you are probably not that person, all right? These are generally speaking of a group or a person, okay, who is under the influence of um, spirit of unbeliever. You are testing God, okay? You have been demanding for a sign. And time to time, okay, the Lord will not do what you say just because you're demanding it. In fact, He is saying this to me, okay? My Holy Spirit is saying this to me earlier. That someone need to know. You need to know. That someone need to know how I feel. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying to me. I hope and pray this word is not for you. But if it is, listen up. Okay? Now, in the book of Matthew 16, is speaking of... Be on your guard for a spirit of Pharisees. Okay? This is Matthew 16 to 23 that I am um, speaking of. Be careful of the spirit of Pharisee that are still in the body of Christ today. The hypocrites, self-righteous spirits, okay, that are still in some of the believer today or an unbeliever. Okay, Jesus will not show you any sign, okay, from heaven just because you are requesting for one or demanding for one because you don't believe him. Um, be careful when you taste God, okay, he's the creator and you are, you are too foolish. The, the Lord is saying you are too foolish to recognize the sign of heaven. That's what Jesus says according to this um verse that these people are too okay foolish and prideful full of themselves another word okay <laughs> um to recognize the sign of heaven because you're on lacking in faith that you're doing you you depending on too much of yourself okay you're too self-righteous Jesus rebuked this Pharisee spirit, okay, in the in this verse. So in the same saying, he, he rebuked it. Who dared to demand and test it? God. So Jesus have gave key of priesthood to his prophet and apostle, okay, on earth to lead, to lead the church. This key holds sealing power. 
this power okay allow the um the ordinance perform under the authority of the church leader to be valid in heaven it is used to lay families of the church together okay now to have a complete full body of church the church built with fivefold finger all right if you're familiar with it you have an apostle first finger and then you have uh, prophets then you have evangelist pastor teacher okay so these leaders hold power of heaven all right of they hold priesthood key that are necessarily to administer the lord's church upon the earth today it's still relevant today now a church must have all five fingers all five fingers okay to be full you need to have all this the same key given to peter now i'm just going according to this matthew okay the key that have given to peter and other apostles anciently are held and used today by the lord living prophets and apostles they are still here today I know this word really is striking me somewhere in my heart, all right? Prophet, living prophet of this day, we get chant, okay? There's so many of us that are doing the Lord's work that this come against this Pharisee spirit, okay? They demand, demand, Lord, give me the sign. I don't believe this is your ordained prophet. Cut it out, guys. Cut it out. You don't know, you don't recognize his voice. That's your problem, okay? Um, just be careful because um, it is said in the Bible, all right? Touch not my anointed one, do my prophet no harm. Honor your living prophet and apostle of today and faithfully pray for them because they lay, lay down their life, okay, to serve. Their burden is heavy. So as a church body, we must pray for them. We must pray for our church leader, full stop. These leaders are there okay, to guide the church, the body of Christ today. Would you rather not hear anything? Would you rather be lost forever? Come on, guys. Let's go. Um... Yeah, so sorry. <laughs> I'm feeling it in my belly, okay? The Holy Spirit is just fire up today. He's fire up. Something is going on. I don't know all the details, but this is what he gave me. He also told his disciple, okay? That's you guy, as a, as a follower, that we all, okay? Don't get too comfortable to walk in faith. To walk in faith, time to time, we will have to get out of ourselves and be uncomfortable. All right. Um, as a Christ follower, we must, okay, deny our flesh, our natural tendency, the natural man in us. Be obedient and sacrifice in order to cheerfully follow Him, follow Jesus our king of king the mighty king okay the lord continued to lead his church and kingdom on earth through his prophets and sacred priesthood keys are there with them an apostle and the fivefold finger right the lord revealed his will and still is today he reveals his will for the church to his prophet so that it will be used on earth today still 